Hello and welcome to Boden in Swedish Lapland. It's a lovely mid-November day. It's around 3 p.m. and the sky is uh, pretty clear. The sun has dropped below the horizon and uh, I don't know if you can see behind me here on the lake. It's beautiful skating ice. It has been cold a couple of days now. So I think I will bring my, my skates and, uh, and try the ice some, someday. But today I will uh, go up to Harads, some 40-50 kil kilometers north of, uh, of Boden. Uh, it's around Bortel 2 and uh, I will continue on, uh, on the Cygnusvål in the North American nebula that I couldn't uh, complete uh, a few days ago when the clouds came. So, let's go. And I think I have all gear. Tripod, batteries, mount, uh, my slider, my heated hard case. And here we have my camera bag for stills and video, my tube, William Optics. Floor Star 110, my hard case with the cables and uh, guide camera, ASIR and so on. Green bag is my warm down jacket. I'll not for forget to mention the Fika backpack also. With some sausage. And if you want to support me, you can choose some of the, of the alternatives below here. Buy me a coffee or Patreon. I'm extremely thankful for every support I, I get. It means a lot. The end of the world at the palm of my hand. When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my back to the Can't come with me, I'll understand. I'll understand. Can we meet in the dark? We don't have to say much, and if you have to go, have to go. Okay, so now we are at this great location, uh, quite close to Harads, 50 kilometers north of Boden. I got company also by my friend Ulf, a fellow astrophotographer. As you can see behind me, the sun, uh, it's, it's still a little bit the light on the, on the sky, but we will set up the gear now and uh, start to do a polar alignment and then wait for, for the sky to be completely dark.
And this is Ulf, fellow astrophotographer from Luleå. So what are you doing? I have just put up my tripod and my equipment for taking some wide field astrophotography. And uh, now I'm going to change the batteries in, in the Skywatcher Star Adventure. Yeah, we can take a look at, at the gear you use. And this is the Star Adventurer? Yes, it is with a, a dovetail. You can put some extra weight or other equipment on this part and then attach the camera uh, so it follows the rotation of, of the Earth. And you use the Astro Modified D810? Yes, it's Nikon D810A. Alpha and a very sturdy tripod, also. Yes, very sturdy and very handy to operate since I can make all the, the changes in elevation and azimut with these hands. Yeah, it really looks great. Okay, so I set up the gear now, everything is connected, I think. So I will soon start to do a polar alignment. And um, by the way, I bought a new marine battery today. So I ran out of power last time I was at this location. Okay, here we go. I will. Start the application. Is that everything is connected as it should. Now I will bring some focus. Little bit too much, I think. <laughs> I used to have focus at about one point five on, on that scale. direction Där <laughs> I also looked at the satellite image and uh, saw that, that it was some, 
some shit uh, maybe coming in on this. But we will see. Okay, there we have some reasonable focus, so I will do polar alignment. the second let's go so now I check the focus on Dube in the Big Dipper or some other Then we will see if the EAF will work. Wrong direction. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so now I run the autofocus with the EAF. It failed uh, big time during the last session, but I give it a new chance today. So we will see. So this is the first sub tonight uh, with the sulfur 2 filter. And it actually looks like uh, the EAF succeeded this time, so now I will let it run. I'll shoot 10 sulfur 2 and then 10 hydrogen alpha, and then we will see. And the guiding is awesome for now. So, time to make a fire and drink some coffee. in my eyes. Yes. So how long have you been doing astrophotography? I would say for for six, seven years. Six, seven years. How did it begin? You have had an interest in astronomy? Or? Oh, I've been interested in astronomy since I was a little kid. Yeah. I grew up during the uh, the space race for the moon. Yeah. I followed everything that happened between Sputnik and uh, the last uh, space shuttle. Yeah. So I've been interested in space and uh, astronomy for a long time. Yeah, and so do I. I think I was only <laughs> three, four, five years when I began to be fascinated by the stars. Mm. <laughs> but I started with this hobby just two years ago mm. with Deep Sky yeah. as the photographer. 
I think I, I uh, use more time on uh, aurora photography than deep sky photography. Okay. Um, it's a little easier, it goes faster, but it's... Uh, since I moved back to Norrbotten for 10 years ago, yeah. I have uh, better chances to get nice uh, aurora than in the south southern part of the city. Yeah. It's almost uh, when when you don't see aurora when you're out like this. It's almost like <laughs> a small small chance. But you have an obs observatory also. You have built yes, one. I, I built one from what was a, <coughs> a small house, three by two meters. Uh, wooden cut uh, wooden house for uh, hunting dogs okay uh, when I bought the house I live in now yeah. uh, it came with a buy yeah so I rebuilt it to a roll off roof yeah. observatory and a fixed uh, twin telescope on the pier yeah I don't have to put much much time and, and effort in <coughs> moving around and doing all the basic yeah. parameters. What equipment do you use in, in the observatory? Uh, the uh, mount is a 10 micron uh, HPS uh, 1000. Yeah, expensive stuff. <laughs> uh, relatively. Yeah. And uh, on that I have an Orion Optics, a British uh, telescope, ODK yeah. 10. It's a 10 inch optimized dial Kirkham okay. principle. And uh, a Takahashi FSQ yeah. 106 uh, refractor. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> in the summertime I changed the Takahashi for a lone 80 millimeter sun telescope. So. Okay. I can feel occupied in the summertime as well. Yeah, <laughs> I have never tried sun uh, observer, uh, sun, sun astrophotography. It's quite different from blue yeah. sky. So. Yeah, I can imagine. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. It's nice to sit out here. Yeah. It feels <laughs> feels as it, it it's in the middle of the night, but I think it's only. Six thirty, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pitch dark. Yeah. But we had a, We were very lucky with the weather. It was uh, a risk of high clouds coming yeah. in. But so far, so good. We don't see much of it. Some small mist at the horizon. It's kind of the front to the. South east. Yeah. yeah. Here it's great. And above all, it's no wind that yeah. makes it much more comfortable to sit yeah. <laughs> by the fire than if it's windy. I hate when it's windy. It's yeah. it gets very cold and it's not good for for the guiding either. Okay, it's time to grill some sausage and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, Jokkmokk's korv, sausage from Jokkmokk, really tasty. And of course I have some mustard also. Mustard, it's almost frozen. <laughs> ah, something like that. Mm. 
So now I shoot hydrogen alpha. I've done six so far, and I think they look really good. Can You can see the Andromeda now. Take a look. Ulf can see Andromeda with his naked eyes now. This is a pretty dark spot actually. I think it would it should be around two or three maybe. What do you think? Yeah. A bottle two. Yeah, a little brighter to the horizon. To the south, we have uh, south southeast. We have larger cities, Boden and and Dulio. Um, so this is some of the hydrogen alpha subs. For some reason, it has put them in in the folder named Deneb. I don't know. And this is uh, uh, sulfur. So you can see the big difference between them. So this will be great, I think. So I will probably add some oxygen also. Um, because there are some good conditions tonight. I took 10 uh, subs uh, last uh, time uh, this Sunday, but it was a little bit haziness then, and the moon was up also. Great. You see uh, M13? M13 with the uh Binoculars. Okay. We'll see uh, M13 with this binocular. And I'm done with the hydrogen alpha. And everything runs very smooth. Guiding. And it looks great, but but EF does not cope today either. Uh, now we'll. Uh, Run uh, some more oxygen three um, because it's very good conditions today. So I'll have to have to check the focus manually on on this bright star, Deneb. It's uh, a little bit cold. I don't know if you can see, but it's almost uh, 80, 19 degrees Celsius. How does it feel? It feels good. I feel good. <laughs> yeah. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> but I think we're soon down here. We have uh, been out here for three, four hours. And uh, um, yeah, it does run smooth, almost everything. Mm. So we will begin to pack the gear soon and run, then drive back to the civilization. 